Hey, what's going on everyone? Today is November the 15th, 2021. We're going to give you all an updated price prediction into the market in DraftKings and why this particular market is still a sell. Now, you're not going to get this information from any other YouTuber. Matter of fact, a lot of these YouTubers who pumped DraftKings up recently, you understand that without them continually doing videos about DraftKings that the market may actually be down because a lot of these YouTubers don't come back and give you all price updates when they originally were trying to pump these stocks. DraftKings is also part of that group. I know a lot of YouTubers pumping this particular market in DraftKings telling you all to buy the dip and here we are trading around $40 in DraftKings. Huh, but now they're not even talking about this stock anymore. I wonder why. Because it's going against their original prediction. Every video that they talk about, they're telling you to come in and buy it and when the market continues to go down, you hear crickets from those individuals. Well, that's not us. So if you guys want to understand that you can actually do this for yourself when you know when to get in and when to get out the market, you need to keep it locked in here. This is HFN. We're also known as Houston News. We're going to give you all realistic price predictions in the market without the confusion. If the price is going to go down, guess what? I'm going to tell you that. If the price is going to go up, guess what? I'm going to tell you that too. I'm not going to be biased into thinking that everything in the stock market is always going to go up because that's not the case. You can see it right now for the example on our last video that we did in Drive Kings, which was on September 24th. So before I get started in all of this, make sure if you guys appreciate the content, hit the like button, share, subscribe, tap that bell notification as well. You don't want to miss it. I'm just going to keep it real. You guys don't want to miss the simplicity that is involved in the stock market. You guys don't have to involve yourself in massive technical analysis and using 13,000 technical indicators to try to get a competitive leg amongst the competition you don't just look at what people are trying to do with their money that's it so check this out september 24th we was telling you all then to be prepared for DraftKings to go down while everyone else was telling you to buy in the market we were telling you that don't buy it yet price is still going to go down and it has it even took out our ultimate tp price right there on november the 4th so we did our video on september the 24th and right there on November the 4th is where we got the profit. Is where we met the trap and said, hey, we appreciate you coming down here. We were expecting you. What took you so long? Now cough up the bag. Give me that 14.88% out the market. Now, if you wasn't there and you waited a couple of days later and you were to get out on the last trading day of last week, you got 22%. Hey, congratulations. The biggest thing is that you were already there. You was waiting for the market to come with the bread come with the money bring it up cough it up let me get it i was waiting on you and here you are 22 percent all right so that's done let me get rid of it that's done it's over we need to talk though because if anyone is trying to tell you that DraftKings is still a buy they do not understand what looking at price chart is all about right they want to tell you to continue to buy these dips and a lot of the people have been buying these dips and they're still in some losing positions well then that's when they transition over to I'm a long term holder. Oh, so now you're long term. So you're trying to tell me if DraftKings was to go up. Right. Let's just do this as a hypothetical. Let's just say that DraftKings went up. In a couple of months, it went up 100 percent. Are you telling me that you want to take the bag there and that you'll literally wait until the next five years before you take the bag? Your profitability is now. This is the thing that I don't understand about these YouTubers who want you to hold these plays for three to five years. Why would I want to do that when I've already seen the market increase 100%? There's no guarantee in the next five years you will be up 100%. I'm just saying. So, well, first things first. Let me get back to my prediction. You guys can see here that the market price in DraftKings has broken the trend. Now, when price breaks trend, meaning you guys can tell we have been trading very nicely above this overall ascending line, right? We came down and touched it a couple of times and now we broke it. Huh? Don't expect the price to go up in DraftKings then. It's just that simple. Until we create another ascending line, don't expect price to go up in DraftKings. Now, I know you guys don't like to hear that. Right. I know you guys are emotional when someone comes in and tell you that price is going to go down. But, hey, you need to hear it. 
We got to keep it real with our people. Now, yeah, we're not expecting the price in DraftKings to go up, right? We're not. But it doesn't mean that we, we can't see the price consolidate and find support literally right now. This is the best outlook that I'm seeing into the market in DraftKings is to see this price hold $40. That's it. We need to see the market bounce this week above $40 because if that's the case, then yeah, we can see some lift off right here at $40 and then we can see this market go up in DraftKings start to go up in price right now that's the best outcome because if we break forty dollars to the downside in DraftKings guess what be prepared for it to hit around 36 now let's see what's the probability of us seeing the market in DraftKings hits 36 dollars okay let's see it because currently the market here in DraftKings is weak right we're weak so automatically, even though we're playing the weakest here in the market, I'm not going to be oblivious. I can see the price hold forty dollars, and the market try to go up from here. I can see that. So, given my price prediction, I got to react quickly once I see that strength coming to the market right here around forty. If I don't see strength, then I know that we're pretty much going to continue to go lower in DraftKings, right? And the three-day time frame, yeah, I'm still seeing weakness here in the market, even here from a weekly perspective. Look how weak the market is in DraftKings. The last two weeks we've seen price close lower than the previous one and we started this weakness all the way back in september so for you all to be surprised that the price in DraftKings has been going down this has been nothing but sell-off mode in DraftKings. a lot of the market participants has been selling DraftKings as price has been coming down but all these youtubers is telling you to buy it while the market is selling it doesn't make any sense you want to follow the side of the market the market is the ultimate deciding factor as to where price is going to go. And on a weekly perspective, it's still weak. This is the two weeks time frame. And then this is the three weeks. The three week time frame definitely is massively weak in DraftKings, right? It is still massively weak. So given my price prediction I'm going to do today, you're going to have to give me at least three weeks to let this price go down because this is where the massive weakness is being revealed. So it doesn't mean from a day to day basis that we won't see price go up. This is five weeks. This is even weaker into the market in DraftKings. So for us to come down to 36, yeah, it's very probable that we can see that happen given the three weekly time frame as well as the five weeks time frame. Now, outside of that, the next area for us to see the market come in DraftKings would probably be around 33. Now, that's definitely further, further out in time. It doesn't mean that it's going to happen tomorrow. It doesn't mean that we're going to hit 33, you know, two weeks from now. It might happen towards the end of this year. Who knows, right? But what I'm showing to you all is that given these varying time frames, this market here in DraftKings is still weak. Now, the biggest issue that I wanted to show you all is that from a longer term perspective, you guys can tell that we're not really in an upward trend into the market in DraftKings, right? There's no definitive trend really in play to where we can create a trend line to say, yeah, that this is where the market in DraftKings is trying to go, right? So like we can't connect any bottoms from a monthly perspective to see DraftKings really move. Now you might could follow it here because this is where the bottoms of these monthly price bars are being touched. So we started here in May, 2020, then May, 2021 we came in and confirmed a trend in July 2021 and then we broke it in October and we definitely are breaking that trend now in November which is another indication that we're not really in an upward trend into the market in DraftKings so what we're going to do hopefully we've shown you based off of these differing time frames that the market in DraftKings is still weak and that we're still expecting this price to go lower now Outside of that, I'm here to let you know already that as long as price holds $40, then my price prediction is not going to be right. I can see that. So you could drop the comments of saying I didn't get this correct because I'm already acknowledging that, yeah, I can see the market grab support. And if it does, then we're going to have to cut this prediction and move to the upside. So our first area of TP would be around uh, $36, which is around 11.18%. 
And then the next area was going to be around 33, right? The second area is going to be around $33. I'm going to bring it up though. That's the second area. So I got $36 first. And then the second area is going to be um, $33.50, give or take. Now, I'm going to play the weakest into the market in DraftKings until we see this market break back up above, um, what is this, 48? We're going to continue to play the weakest into the market until that happens, either or. We see the market break $40 to the downside, then we know we're golden. But if the market comes up here, and if we were to see the price reach 48, but we still get rejected, then it lets me know that we're still weak into the market overall in DraftKings. Okay, so that is how we're going to play the market in DraftKings now, which is cool. This is what I'm seeing. I'm not trying to convince you. I'm trying to show you that this is how you're able to play the market and win. You got to get ahead of the game. You got to be competitive amongst everyone else because they're being competitive against us all. So we need to have something that gives us the leg up. And this is how you're able to do it. So tell me your price prediction into the market in DraftKings. Let me know where are you seeing price go in DraftKings? I'm seeing the market going down. You might think the market's going to go up. Hit me up and let me know. Make sure you maintain a profitability. And as always, trade different.